Hello everyone, today I will be reacting to a short horror story animation. Also, I just did a face reveal on my main channel, so I'm gonna start trying to show my face more on here. But anyways, I hope that you enjoy this video, and let's begin. Also, I only have one minute, so I have to do these really quickly, because I am doing this filter on TikTok. Oh, the creepy abandoned hospital. It happened three years ago. On Saturday afternoon, I was hanging out with my friends, Austin, Vincent, Charlie, and Bobby, while my parents were gone for the weekend. Okay, but why do the narrators always have a deep voice that is, like, showing no emotion? They just seem really unbothered by the situation, normally. We were playing Battlefield 1 at Austin's house, chilling and having a good time. A couple of hours later, we got bored and had nothing to do. So we went for a walk on the boardwalk, talking about what our plans are going to be for the summer. Vincent said he'll be going to Los Angeles with his family for a month, and Charlie will be in Arizona for two weeks. For Bobby, he'll be in London for a month, and I was going to Ocean City for a week. Okay, but after hearing all that, now I really want to go on vacation. Also, they had some good places they were going to. After we had a small chat, Austin asked me if we could go to the abandoned hospital around here. Being frightened, I was thinking that it wouldn't be a good idea to go. Yeah, that probably makes sense. I mean, why at the middle of the night would you want to go to abandoned hospital? There. However, I didn't want them to think of me as a chicken. So I agreed and decided to go there. And so did my friends. The outside was getting dark. Okay, but in every horror movie, the smart person always wants to not be the chicken, and then they end up all getting killed, except for that person. Happens every time. We got into my truck and drove almost an hour to reach that destination. When we finally got there, I parked my truck right just next to the entrance. Surprised they'd leave a place like that wide open for anyone to go into. In case anything happens while we're checking out the hospital. We slowly got inside the hospital. The hallways and other rooms were empty. Did they ever realize, though, that this is probably like the perfect spot for homeless people to live in? Also, I mean, there are probably still drugs in there, maybe, from when it was a hospital. At first, I thought it was a little bit creepy and chilly inside. About 20 minutes later, walking around, we suddenly heard something that made our hearts drop. It was the sound of a girl screaming. Okay, yeah, that would definitely be the time I would just be getting out of there, like, okay, we've seen it, it's time to get out. Saying, help, somebody help me. Then I heard some guy saying, shut your mouth, with a rough voice. I mean, yeah, this could be a good place to murder someone or kidnap them. Would it actually? I don't even know. We decided to follow the sound. When we went all the way up the stairs and got there, the dim light was coming from the room. I told my friends not to move a muscle while I was slowly approaching and peeking through the room. Okay, but if I were him, I would have definitely grabbed some sort of weapon, like a piece of debris, just to protect myself slightly. And what I saw was just unbelievable. Ooh, this would have been a good time to add one of those James Charles things, like... Hi, sisters! Ah! A girl was taped around her legs, arms behind her back, and even her mouth now. Yikes, this is why you don't go to abandoned hospitals, people, or be out in the middle of the night. I quietly told my friends to come to the room. I didn't see the other guy, so we quickly approached her, releasing the tape around her. Thank you, guys, she said. I'm still sitting over here trying to decide if this narrator is like 20 or like 50. I can't decide anymore, especially after he narrated the girl. What's your name and what happened? I asked her and she replied, My name is Hannah. I was kidnapped by a man three weeks ago while I was coming home from college. Then I asked again, well, What does he look like? They should probably be leaving already. This is not a good time for a long conversation. They need to hurry. I think he's mid-40s. He has black hair and 
He's chubby looking. She replied back and after she gave me the details, we decided to help her escape and get back to my truck. Okay, it was good though while they were explaining that, that they were running so that they can get away from this person. However, we saw a movement suddenly coming from the stairway with a lighting candle. Fortunately, we found an empty dark room at that moment and hid there. And not long after, I could see a figure wearing a flannel shirt, jeans, boots, who came into the room. He was holding a big machete. Okay, this is actually really good that they have a machete because if they had a gun, you wouldn't need to be near them to kill them. So now they can actually use running to their advantage and distraction. Also, they're in a big abandoned hospital, so this will probably get them out alive. I was positive that creepy man was the one Hannah was talking about. After the man passed the room where we were hiding, we got out of the room quietly without making a sound as possible as we could. We were about to get to the exit. All of a sudden, a loud scream was heard from upstairs. You! Where the heck are you? I'm going to kill you! I mean, as long as you're not close to him and you just get in your truck with the girl and leave, you're going to be completely fine. I mean, you might be a little scarred and the girl might not be fine, but... My heart pounded so hard. We had no choice but just to make a run toward my truck as soon as possible. All of my friends jumped in the back of my truck and then I quickly started the engine. As I started the engine, Austin gave a big shriek. Holy shit, Matt! Get the heck out of here right now! I then looked behind us. Oh, never look back. Just start the car and run. Or not run, drive. And there he was. The guy was chasing after us with his big machete in his hand, and I quickly drove off. Okay, so just in case, I would have grabbed some debris from the hospital or a rock or something to throw at the person, just in case, so that it could distract them long enough if they were getting close to him. While one of my friends called the police, we pulled up at the gas station waiting for the cops to show up. They arrived in about 10 minutes. We told them exactly what happened tonight, and after we informed them where the hospital was, they went over to investigate the case. Well, they seemed pretty smart with that, and it's good that they went straight to the police, so you know, all's well. Kind of. They eventually caught the man soon. He was taken into custody, and after that, got charged with kidnapping and attempted murder. After the police took him away, they told us they'd been searching for this man for five years. I'm surprised that all that time he never had a gun because it's really hard to kill someone with a machete. Well, I mean, unless you're close to them. And I feel like that's more of a thing in movies because with a gun, if someone's getting near you or police are getting near you, it's a lot easier to get away. They also told us that he had prior convictions from the past of raping women and other kidnapping charges. And the poor Hannah. The ambulance took her to the hospital and then we all came back to our house. After that day, we decided to never go to such places like that again. I mean, yeah, that's kind of common sense, and I don't think I would ever be doing something like that. I don't think I live near any abandoned places, though. They seem pretty cool, though. I still can't stop thinking about what would have happened if we failed to escape. Also, what would have happened to Hannah if we didn't show up? We all might be dead. Well, luckily everything did work out good in the end, other than they might be scarred for the rest of their life, but you know, that's fine. At least there was a happy ending and no one died. Hello everyone, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I'm really glad that I did the face reveal because now I can show my face more in my videos and it's a lot easier now. But for now, I'm just probably going to be doing intro and conclusion because I'm still trying to work out stuff. Especially because I have to use the filter thing on here. But anyways, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know what I should react to next or other short story animation channels. And bye.